So here we are, 33 hours of playtime, and we aren't even halfway done with the collection, which is quite surprising. In the last episode we ended in this vault, because if I recall correctly we unlocked a new ability, which is the ability to swim. And so in today's episode I think it would be quite good idea to go ahead and search some other areas where we can utilize the swimming ability and maybe find some secrets and such. I think that would be quite nice, but we will see how it goes. Certain things are better wired and certain things are better wired. Imagine having a wired phone. I mean, there used to be wired phones back in the day. Firewheel doesn't seem like something I wanna use, unfortunately. Let's proceed. Wireless? Yeah, I got you, I got you. I understood, but I wanted to... Uh, wanted to... Do a joke, you know? Uh, let's see. We got the Samers J in our team. What's currently in our team actually? Samers J, Bakukraft, Dangomint and Steam Monkey. These four are about to be evolved today, I think. We will see what uh, happens afterwards. I don't think there was anything to the left of here. But just to be safe, let's go check it out. Because uh, I'm not very good at remembering stuff. Plus, we might as well mine some ore while we are here. There are many uses for it. Mainly upgrades in terms of cores and such. Which is always nice. And uh, you never know, maybe during our exploration we will find some new cutie to capture. That would be nice. Healing stone we don't want. And yeah, we might as well also farm some experience since we are trying to evolve some cuties in our team. I might actually switch out Lazy Cthulhu because uh, Lazy Cthulhu is very overpowered. Don't get me wrong, it does get the job done fast since it can one shot almost everything. But it makes the game a bit too easy in my opinion. So. We will see when we get to the next uh, box of Rexomon, by which I mean healing center, I suppose. It's today, says Karimi Caramel. Hello, Karimi Caramel. Always nice to see you come by. I hope you are doing well. Also, I just noticed that Nightbot decided to start working, so that's nice. And the emotes are maybe working as well, since the boop worked fine. Interesting. So, Bakukraft evolved into Acegon. And by the day, I mean it's your bird birthday. Oh my god, happy birthday! That's very nice. Happy, happy birthday. Well, I hope your birthday is going well. That's very, very nice. I think this is the first time I had someone with birthday in, uh, in chat, so that's very nice. Happy, happy birthday. 
Let's do a tamer battle. Might as well. As those freaks get stronger, I do need to improve my team. Those are all the dialogues, I think, so no reason to read them. Ooh, we are not effective against stone, but we have Vonix over here. And water is effective against stone, so that's good. Wind? I don't know if wind is good or bad against the water, but we might as well finish this chronoed. You know, might as well. Also, I love that emote, by the way. A very nice emote. Well, let's switch back to Cthulhu actually. We sort of finish this battle off. This should be fine. And this should also be fine. Relatively tough battle, but we are overpowered. Oh my god, game now. God. Okay, you will test my new ray. I wonder if it works. After the animation ends, it should auto shout you out. There we go. Oh my god, it works. And it should also give you the stream shout out. I think. I don't know if it's triggered or not. Hmm, it seems like everything worked except for the... Except for the... Except for the... Except for this. I don't know why this didn't work automatically. The slash one. But yeah, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I am so happy to see you. I hope you are doing well. Oh my god, I was just in your stream like a couple moments ago. And you were streaming uh, for only a little bit, I think, today. But yeah, I hope your stream went well. Very nice to see you come by. Oh my god. You think zero of your people got uh, transferred over? That happens on Twitch, that's actually very common. Doing A-OK, -okay. internet is a funky, that's understandable. Internet uh, do be funky very often. Since you are here, do you have any idea why the same didn't trigger this command? It triggered the, it triggered the, it triggered the normal one, but it didn't trigger the, the, <laughs> the, you know what I mean. Oh my god, it says I am a raider from your channel. Let me actually go lurk somewhere. Uh, let's go over here. There we go. I uh, imagine being a raider in your own stream. Oh my god. Yeah, it is shout out name. Maybe it needs some some upgrades, we will see. Also, we just beat another tamer, so let me quickly check the Samer's J leveled up, Steam Monkey leveled up. No evolutions. Well, you should agree that I did a lot better this time. Those bandits will have a tough time if they cross my path for sure. That's for sure, that's for sure. Let me check, I wanted to check if the... Bakucraft evolution is the final one. 
Because if it is, then we might need to swap to someone else. It is the final one. And that means we need to go back to the town, into the healing center. So let's do that, it's... Oh my god, we got... We got... Uh, the thief again. Wrong place and wrong time, kiddo. Now if you could please drop your points and next someone, I'll let you go. That's not good. And it's starting with a stone type. That's also not good. Let's switch to Onyx. You will be diagnosing internet and the like, so you'll be heading off. Alrighty, alrighty. I hope you can uh, diagnose the internet successfully and hopefully figure out what was causing the issues. It's always a sad day when the internet breaks down. Okay, that's a water type. We need to switch back to Lazy Cthulhu. And let's use Psychic Bomb. Uh, let's do just a Psy Bomb, I guess. Somehow it give more damage than the other one, even though it costs less stamina. That's always interesting. I'll almost one hit KO. And last one is Saka. But yeah, I think we are doing pretty well. I will probably switch some of my teammates. Mainly probably Lazy Cthulhu because Lazy Cthulhu is way too overpowered and it makes the game way too easy. As long as he's on our team it's basically impossible to lose, so... Let's equip someone weaker to make it a bit more exciting. And we need to replace uh, Bakucraft as well, so... Let's put Lazy Cthulhu at the top there. Agent Black over here. And Bakucraft over there. That's good. Tamers J still needs to level up. Dangomint and Steam Monkey still need to evolve as well. Rosie's Posies. Not too sure. But you know what I can do? Let's do it by the database. The first one we are missing is Tornox. So let's equip Spy Car. If we can find it. This is Spikus. There is Spy Car. There we go. And the other one we need to evolve is Pebdlem. He needs two evolutions. Alrighty then, let's equip the Pebdlem. It's an interesting name. If we can find it. It should be somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Nice to see you there, Sonic. And as per usual, as I always do, I will rename these with the name of some Thank you for the dance, Aradine. I didn't realize that if Wolf is raining down, he doesn't dance. That's actually a fun little easter egg you just figured out. But uh, yeah, looking at my followers, I guess the spy arm could be Hero, Yuki, Tanuki, 
Did I write it correctly? I hope so. Yeah, seems to be correct. Which is a follower from five days ago, and uh, Pebjlem will be renamed to Mozu Voltex. Which is also follower from five days ago. There we go. That should work. Don't forget the course. We need to put all the maximum level ups on one. I misclick the books. There we go. Is Dangomit already evolved as well? Why doesn't Dangomit have any cores? That's electric type. Excuse my cough. Oh my god, the Dangomit is fully leveled up as well. I didn't realize. Well, there you go. That's what happens in between episodes when you forget the uh, forget uh, what was uh, going on. Also, these aren't followers, so let's put them into the correct place. Oh my God! Misclick. Take a little bit of time. That's all right. We got time in our journey to 100% completion. One more, I think. This is a follower. This is a follower. This is a follower. This one isn't. I know I am doing this a bit uh, weirdly. It's the only way to keep uh, track, at least for me. I have some issues keeping track of things. Okay, we are missing the third evolution of the ghost. Which is the dreadful. So let's equip the ghost. We might actually have the ghost and the followers. Ah, uh, we don't. the first evolution we should have the second one somewhere as well I think there it is and let's name it after another follower from five days ago which was the JM clean then lots Is this J? Did I write it correctly? It looks like... Yeah, it is J. I'll write it up. There we go. And finally we can continue on our journey. Which reminds me, I actually don't know where to go next. Let me check the journal. Let's gather at the orphanage. Alrighty then. That's one thing we could do. I'm trying to think if there was anything in the lair that required the swimming ability that we just learned. I'm not entirely sure, but we might as well go check it out. Because my memory is a bit fuzzy. It's been a while. But yeah, the music in this area is very nice, very soothing. I don't think we need healing. Here is the laboratory. Let's check it out. 
Well, this is new. Those folks weren't here before. Oh my god, I forgot to put the cores on the other teammates. You know what? Rookie mistakes happen. It is inevitable. It will be the scuffed gaming, you know. Also, seems like we don't have enough cores to give everyone everything. Which is hardly a good thing. I should probably go get more cores. Let me check how many crystals do we have. We can afford to... that's not enough. You are the tamer who broke it to this place, right? We owe you a lot, Gabriel Biscuit. Please take this with you. Safe travels. Oh yeah, we actually... I just remembered. When we were cleaning out the laboratory, we were doing it so that the people could have a bunker to hide in. Somehow I completely forgot about that. When I heard that the guild had uncovered a bunker, I just had to check it out. It seems like quite a few merchants have already begun doing business here. And here I thought that the guild was totally hopeless. Look at this place. They found a perfect shelter against the tyrants just for us. Hello, Gabriel Biscuit. Looking for some elemental exotraps fresh out of the oven. Sure. Alrighty, you got a good eye. That's the only thing this fella sells. Oh my god, the prices are ridiculous. No, thank you. Um, remember that I'm a traveling merchant, so I might not be here in the near future. That's perfectly fine with me. You can take those deals elsewhere. Hello there, you are Gabe Biscuit, right? You are the one who opened this bunker. Merchants like me have begun using it as a shelter in the frozen tundra, so thanks. I'm selling all manner of exotic food items that you can use when capturing Nexomon. Check this out, kid. Wild Nexomon are gonna love you. Excuse me. Okay, we definitely wanna buy these. Let's buy nine. Let's get three of these. Basically everything at least ten times in our inventory. That's my goal. One of these. Shrimp Gary. Looks interesting. Okay. Well. It was nice doing business with you. Let's meet again. Let's see what Sapa had. Are there more folks? Doesn't really seem like it. That's electric type. Which I am weak against. Thankfully, I am slightly over level, so it should be fine. Okay, nothing over there. And if I am not mistaken, this room was the one with the with the door. This where the atlas was kept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, absolutely nothing in here. It's quite surprising, to be honest. I was expecting some secrets or something. But at least we figured out that there are merchants in here from time to time. So that, uh, that will be good to know in the future. Let's keep it in mind. When we need uh, food items or something. I 
I just remembered we should be using Whirlpool. Because it's a... Uh, it's got a chance at dealing triple damage. Which is always nice. I think Seymour's Jail will... Seymour's Jail will evolve somewhat soon. But we will see how it goes. This way was... Windy area. Nothing to do over there. In fact, I would say there is probably nothing to do anywhere. What was this side quest? Super Elixir already then. Cannot do anything about that just yet. I could go double check the Nexolot Tower from the previous episode. But I don't think we uh, we would be able to find anything useful in there. Actually, let me check this shop. Maybe they got the super elixir. Oh my god, they do. As well as some other stuff. Well then, okay, let's buy four of these. Let's buy one of these. One of these. Six of these. Eight of these. Seven of these. Our money is running low, but it's worth it. Trust me. All the future side quests will be instantly finished. You'll have to see it. We don't really need any of that. Okay. Well, that's nice. We can now go finish that side quest. Uh, which was this way, I think. See, I already forgot where we were, but uh, it do be like that sometimes. I think it was over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up there, I think. Thanks a bunch, Gabe Biscuit. I hate having up to travel all the way back to the city. Serious tamers like us have no time for such menial chores. I am basically a delivery boy. You know what? For that golden Nexotrap it was worth it. If we come across any legendaries, we can at least capture it without any issue. This guy wants some Nexomon that I don't have. I remember that. I don't know where we would use the swimming ability. I don't think there was anything in Drake Kyles that would require it. I don't remember Ignitia having anything like that. The Frozen Lake didn't have anything like that either, I don't think. Maybe the cave in the Outlands. I remember that one was a bit weird. I don't remember why, but... Uh, we already looked at that chest already, already. Okay, let's go this way. Just to double check that cave. And if there is nothing we can do in there, we will proceed with the main quest. 
We could do some tamer battles to do some quick leveling up, but uh, I don't think it's necessary to be honest. Yeah, this is where we can use the swimming. And by the way, I do know it's not swimming, it's freezing, but uh, I will just keep calling it swimming because it gets us over the water, you know easier to remember for me. There we go. Well, there we go. Mozu Voltex already levels up. By which I mean evolves. My English is slipping today as per usual. A pretty, pretty decent evolution. Okay, let's see what secrets are over here. There are multiple pets to choose. Let's go this way first. Let's see what's on the left. Lots of stones to be mine. Which is actually nice because we do wanna upgrade our cores. I'm quite happy with that. Oh my god, it survived with 1 HP. What do you mean zero? What the heck? I think that's the first time we hit something with zero damage. Honestly, quite shocking. It doesn't seem like there is actually much going on in this game. It really kind of seems like it loops around. I should start using the whirlpool more. I keep forgetting I have the whirlpool. Even though it's like one of my favorite abilities to use. know what, we might as well explore this area a bit more. Who knows, maybe we will find something useful. Continue moving this way, another area where we need to swim, and I already see the treasure chest over there, that's nice, let's see what's inside. Of course we get an interrupted with a random battle, to be like that. Uh, I mean it's better than Mineral Siphon, so sure, let's learn it. We found a great wallet. Which is the item that gives you more body after each fight, so that's nice. We are back where we started. Now let's continue moving to the right and see what's on the right side. What 
Actually, it's quite unfortunate that the chat overlay keeps breaking the emote. I was uh, contacting support about it. Apparently, it's an issue with the uh, Twitch API being uh, not very responsive with the current setup that they use over at the uh, stream elements. And the only real solution to that issue would be to completely remove the chat overlay and replace it with uh, with some alternative. Currently I am just waiting sort of to see if they fix it or not. I don't wanna jump the gun, you know. But uh, if it if it's still broken like next month I think I will just completely ditch stream elements and will stop using everything from them. And just focus on some alternatives. Because it's honestly quite annoying how many issues they there were. Purely by the stream he elements. Thank you for killing me, Spirito Greeny. Once again I am squished on the floor. It do be like that sometimes. I do be dead, but I am back. I've been resurrected. I hope you are doing well. Always nice to see you come by. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much everything in this cave. There was basically just one chest we missed. So, not too much of an upgrade, but still pretty decent overall. I guess there is probably more caves that would uh, give us some stuff if we revisited them, but uh, to be honest I barely remember where they all are, so let's just slowly go back to the orphanage and do the main quest, although... We are missing mine shots. We could buy three level three upgrades. You know what? Let's do it. Three level three upgrades. Not too shabby. Wait a minute. This is new. He wasn't here before. And we are live with Gabir Biscuit himself. Not too long ago, Gabir Biscuit saved the frozen tundra from a whole load of bandits. Tell me, Gabir Biscuit, how did you get so strong? My first enemy was a dragon, or I just repeat the same skill. I mean, both of those are technically true. Let's do the first one. Wow, that's true, you got quite the head start, didn't you? Anyway, your fans keep asking about your favorite element, care to tell us more? Fire or not fire? Actually not fire. Aha, nice one Gabit Biscuit, we all know it's fire. One more thing, Gabit Biscuit. Where did you catch that orange Nexomon? I'll write this interview's over. Oh, she meant Coco. Oh no. Well, that was a fun little thing. Almost didn't notice it. Also, now that I look more closely on the town people, I think there is more of them that are new to the area. Like, what the heck is this lady, for example? 
Tyrant and Bandit activity have been going down recently. Things have been getting better ever since you were promoted, Gabe and Biscuit. I bet it's no coincidence. Interesting, they actually change the dialogues of all the NPCs as you progress the story. That's something really cool that I would love to see in Pokemon games. I might need to go ahead and talk with everyone at some point, but probably not right now. Right now we need to do the main quest. First things first, let's buy the upgrades. We want level 3 of this. We can afford 3. Now we can equip it. Let's give it all to the ghost, why not? Hopefully someday we will have enough to have everyone equipped with these. Would be nice, would be nice. Will take a while though. Probably like five more episodes or something. But yeah, let's go to the orphanage. Actually, we haven't properly explored the Palbaya yet. That could be something to do at some point, I suppose. For now, though, let's just proceed with the orphanage. Let's see now. Lydia told us to meet her inside the orphanage. Why did she come all the way here, though? That is a good question. Let's go ahead and ask her. Before we do though, let's talk with all the children. The news is only talking about you right now, you know. I never thought that you'd become a star, Gaming Biscuit, so what now? Big shot Gaming Biscuit, huh? I guess fighting a dragon on your first day made you really tough. Speaking of dragons, have you thought about catching the greater drakes? You know, the huge ones. I already caught some. I think, so thank you for... ...reminding me, I guess. Wow, is that true? Gabe Biscuit, you've been fighting tyrants. You were a new buy not too long ago. You know, it uh, do be like that sometimes. I saw you on the news. They interviewed you after defeating Mulsima. That must have been so scary. Interviews are the worst. Did you know that doing quests will increase your reputation? I heard that to apply to become a guild grandmaster, you need lots of reputation. I mean, it makes sense. Absolutely nothing in this room. Understandable. How did you become so strong? I heard that you've been slaying tyrants left and right. You are making history, Gabriel Biscuit. Keep it up. Ever since you rescued us, I've been trying to catch my own next someone from the woods. But our mentor won't let me. I am not old enough to join the guild. That's unfortunate, but uh, it do be like that. Ah, Gabe Biscuit, this is good. Oh, what is that robot? A robot? Hey there, the name is Atlas. Ah. What's wrong? Have we met before? I, well... Oh my. 
Whoa, it's so cool. He's floating and everything. For real, look at that design. Where did you find him, Gabriel Biscuit? Hey, I am the best sidekick. Ahem, listen up. While it allies us help, we might have found Amelie's location. You've put in so much effort to no avail that I took pity. Let's see, Amelie is underwater. She drowned. Oh my god. Shut up, Ross. There is an underwater city nearby. Seriously, I've never heard of it. It's hard to believe, but I have lived here for one, I mean a bunch of years, and I remember it well. You know what I just realized? The mentor must have been in the first game. I don't remember his name though. But since Atlas recognized him, he must have been somewhere in the first game that we played. Could it be could it be the fella that was in the in the jungle in the first game? I don't remember his name though, but I do remember there was um, someone similar in the jungle, I think. In the old days, the Tamer's Guild was desperate to build safe heavens to shelter humans from the tyrants. The capital city of Parum, the underground stronghold of Ignatia, and the skyward bastion of the Drake Isles. And finally, the underwater city of Cadium. Cadium? It doesn't ring a bell. It was a failure. 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 Oh my god, how do you pronounce this? It was a failure. 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 It was, uh, it was a failure um, among failures. You know? The guild tried to erase it from history. Wow, really? What happened to it? Failure. Failure. I, uh, you know what, it would be best if you saw it for yourself. So, Amelie is hiding in an abundant underwater city. It's not exactly abundant. Many of the original denizens refused to leave Cadium generations ago and chose to stay behind. Today, their descendants live with marginal knowledge of the surface world. Cadium was once known as the city of science, with all sorts of equipment that Emily could exploit. This is our chance to break into Cadium and sabotage her work. Wados must be there as well, we can end this uh, once and for all. How do we get there? I cannot hold my breath for too long. Are you being dumb on purpose? I can guide you. I found a way to get you there. Come meet me outside the orphanage. Hurry up. <laughs> Excuse me. There is pretty much nowhere, nowhere else to go, so let's go to the front of the orphanage and... Uh, see where the path leads us, I suppose. Over here, Gabby Biscuit, we are heading southwest, beyond the cave. Okay. Southwest. I guess that's this way. I've been nuked. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh my, oh my. And I should posture check. 
with some stretching. That's understandable. Let me do that real quick. has been done. You know what? Let's check out this cave. Maybe there was something we could freeze in here. Thank you for the milk. It's lovely to get some milk. Ooh, that's a big bird that we don't have yet. Let's carefully scratch it up so we can capture it. Let's be careful. 33% seems good enough. Okay, it didn't work out the first time. Hopefully the second time. There we go. Each Navrigal commands a flock of crew, it is a skillful fighter and a super beast strategist. Let's send him to the story for later usage. Is this a dead end? It is. Alrighty then. Well, we got a new Nexomon out of it, so I'm quite happy. With how to turn tables, you know. Okay, let's go check left. I don't actually remember if this place had like the anything where you would need freezing ability. Malevodo is also new, so let's carefully capture it. That's the second new Nexomon we found in this cave, so I am glad we went in. That makes our collection grow quite nicely. 34% chance seems about okay-ish. I am getting bleached, I will need to heal. Its dance invokes unknown powers capable of controlling its opponent's movements. Quite the spooky lore over there, but it happened. Was there any healing shard nearby? I do not see one. There is the treasure wall. Which we already opened. Okay, let's do ice flakes. And scratch. Let's risk it with the no normal one. Hopefully this won't give us KO. Good, it worked, you love to see. 
Always happy to get lucky. It oversees training the youngest crews and whoever else wants to join the flock. Let's send it to the storage and let's heal up. There's healing shot over here. There we go. We already ban into wall, if I remember correctly. Yes. I guess that will do for this cave, unless there is something over here. Which there isn't, so... Oh my god, that's another new one. We are getting rather lucky. Thirty-eight percent chance to be easy. No, to be very territorial, it usually stays in the vicinity of the place it is guarding. Good to know. Nothing over here then. Maybe this is the way to go. Actually yeah, this has to be the way to go because I just remembered this place had that dock over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also you, fella. We are getting quite lucky with the fellas over here. Twenty-nine. You know what? I will give you something. Just to make the capture chance at least slightly easier, you know. Fifty-six. That's good. Oh my god, it didn't work. What the heck? Let's try again. There we go. This trusty Nexomon is known to take too many risks during battle, making it a little unreliable. It's got a very interesting tail. looks like cuffs for some reason. This one I already have. So let's just uh, destroy it for the experience I suppose. We had to run out of luck eventually in terms of getting new Nexomon, you know. Captured a bunch though, so that's nice. Famous J, level up. Rock wall is useless. Boom monkey levels up. Fire barrier is useless. Let's go. Let's search some more grass. You again. I guess our luck truly ran out. But you know what, that's fine. Let's proceed with the quest. An interesting looking submarine. Well, this is it. In the old days, people used this kind of vehicle to descend into Cadia. There used to be a lot of these. Amelie probably has her own. It appears locked. Yes, the guild decommissioned them. I salvaged this one but never quite managed to operate it. 
Oh, I could just look into it and unlock the door. You can do that. So cool. Wow, way to go, Watlas. Impressive. This robot is quite the asset. I have to agree, yes. Yeah, whatever, just hurry up. Done. It's all good now. It's an old machine. It will be a slow trip. Or maybe it will explode. Oh, what was that? It will be a slow trip. From what Lydia told, has told me, Wados is a true abomination. He is worse than any tyrant and must be stopped. Hey, Biscuit, you might soon confront Emily. Depending on how things play out, you might even become the guild's enemy, a traitor. Keep that in mind before you descend into Cadia. Uh, that's, uh, that's good to know. Also, hello, gift shop. I hope you are doing well. Nice to see you lay down. Let's uh, take a trip in the submarine, I suppose. This thing leads to the underwater city of Cadium. Are we going now? Yes. Hopefully they have warp stones in there. Would be nice to unlock a quick teleport, you know. You saw the updated Wolf's integration, it was awesome. I am glad to hear. Always lovely. I decided to hydrate. The music in this place is a bit weird, not gonna lie. Doing some weird wops, you know. Watch your step, Game It Biscuit. We don't know how strong Emily's influence is on this place. Wow, there really is an underwater city. Why would the guild abandon it? It's the perfect place to hide from tyrants. Come on, come on, this is a rare opportunity. A lost city built by the guild itself. Why are we doing this? Vados sounds like a pretty good idea to me. We should just keep a low profile and let Amelie do her thing. Okay, we got the warp stone. That's always nice. Also, let me quickly open the window because oh my god, it's so many degrees today. What the heck? There we go. Yeah, the summer is here, that's for sure. Oh my, oh my. Hopefully there won't be any noise outside. Cadium, the city of science, huh? Those who stayed behind devoted their lives to Risa. Their descendants must be amazing and enlightened people. I don't know how to read that. Uh, as does just Tashkas das something something ja jakas yes yes queen yes no ke ke sejuk fak ke asal ke yes poski poski something Oh, they are idiots. 
it seems like they have developed a dialect of their own. Can you imagine paying a writer and getting this plot in a return? But this is the city of science. Your mentor did say that this place was some kind of a failure. Failure, failure, failure. Oh my god. Why is that word so hard? What happened here? What caused this? Wait, let's find out. We need to scout this place out. Someone might be able to communicate with us. It's our only hope to learn more about Emily's whereabouts. Very well then. The city of Cadium. That music is so weird, oh my god. But it, I kind of dig it, you know. There has to be someone around here that can speak English. Without their help we'll never understand what these folks are saying. Maybe it's the... Soup? No. Well, this suddenly... Look at turn, I suppose. Oh my god, it's a ghost. Oh, hello then, friend. Yep, I am a ghost. I discovered this dumb city along with my pals. Nobody believes us when we tell them that there is an underwater city here, though. <coughs> Thank you for the milk. Perhaps it will help suit my cough, you know. Oh my god, I skipped the dialogue. Uh huh? Are you surprised to see a ghost here? Well, we've had about a thousand years to explore the world. We know every nook and cranny. That's the Pokemon story. By which I mean an Exomon story. Oh my god. Completely bumbles up myself there. Seems like nobody can speak with us except for the ghosts. It's okay though. We found an orange, we love to see it. Rebel companion, that reminds me we should switch our companion. Let's do it. Uh... I guess let's equip the one we just found. There we go. Donut. Can I help you? Hey, this guy speaks English. I can tell that you are not from around here. So what brings you to our humble cadium? Is the surface world as bad as they say? Did climate change finally catch up? Do you know someone called Amelie? She... Aye aye, good old Amy holds up in her fancy lap all day and night. Can we break into her lair? Only the president, master of Cadium, has the keys, but he doesn't take kindly to strangers. We cannot even talk to the people. What's up with the gibberish? Oh, they are just idiots. When the president took over the city, he implemented some changes. Things went downhill pretty fast. Anyway, I have some repairs to do. See ya later. So we will need to gain the trust of this president guy if we want access to Amelie's lab. Shouldn't we follow the guy, only he can communicate with others? It's worth a shot, he went to the east, so let's get going. Interesting. 
So is it a dialect? Is it a foreign language? Or are they really just idiots? It's truly a mystery. But we found a flan, so that's nice. Big door that cannot be interacted with. I guess the exploration paid off. Let's go the way we are supposed to. That music is so weird, oh my god. It's unlike anything else in this game, so it kind of throws me for the loop, you know. Ooh, golden door. What does the sign say? The great president of Cadium lives here. Okay. Well, doesn't seem like we will be able to get there. Let's see what's this way. So far, nothing. We could like do stuff with. Oh my god, it's a gym. Sadly, we cannot speak with the people. I mean, we can, but we don't understand them. Fortunately. Okay, so I... Yes, it's pretty safe to say we cannot go that way. So let's go back to the main area and explore some other route. I wonder if we will learn their language somehow. Because I do actually wonder what they are saying, you know. Would be quite interesting in my opinion. The people here don't seem to bite ghosts like me. I like this place, it's quite different from the surface one. This appears to be locked. Just like Dark Souls, oh my god. Onigiri, I love to see it. Didn't expect a random next summon battle. This fella we already have though, so let's just deal with him quickly. There we go. Poison Cloud, that's better than Focus Team. Oh my god, the evolution is happening. Or knocks. Well, the smart thing to do would be to go to the storage since we know it's right over here anyway. And we will switch to the To the lioness, I suppose. No, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. 31 is something that doesn't evolve. So we are missing 31. Interesting. Let's switch to Fausefant then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could work. Let me find him first. There he is. It was easy. Let's give him the cores. 
only level 8, so this will be a while before it evolves fully. Probably not gonna happen today. And let's name him after another recent follower, I suppose, which is... You know what, let's do Os Oceanity. It's a lovely streamer that helped me with some stuff in Sami recently and uh, gave me a follow afterwards. Elephant doesn't really suit the streamer's uh, persona, but uh, it fits the name kind of, you know, both are blue. Oh, that's nice. That's a follow from in seven the days ago. Day, in the first battle, blood was spilled to me. And those that tasted the bite of his sword, they did. Give it biscuit enjoyer. Welcome on in gift shop. Nice to see you arrive. I hope you like the new arrival a lot. Do you have privileges? Mainly just you have the ability to have special lurk and uh, special ala arrival. The arrival looks different for other users and the lurk also looks different for other users. VIPs have special ones. And uh, what else? Oh, and your wolf is special as well. It glows and it's large. I might do some other stuff as well in the future, but for now... Those are the main three things that I implemented. say today's episode is going quite well. We found a lot of new cuties, we evolved a bunch of stuff, and we proceeded with the main quest as well, which doesn't happen frequently. We have two ways to go, let's go this way first. Mermela Companion. You know, we just got a companion a couple seconds ago, but uh, let's have the mermaid follow us, you know. Our very own little mermaid following us around, floating behind us, you know. That's pretty cool. There we are. You wanna help with the repairs so badly? Sure, I'll give you the job. But I don't have any fancy rewards for you. There are four generators that we gotta repair to keep the city afloat, okay? The name is Derek, by the way. Keep me safe from hostile Nexomon and we are golden. And we will receive a bunch of food as a reward. You love to see it. It's nice to receive a biscuit after a hard day of work, you know. This appears to be locked. Oh no. I am almost dead. I just realized. That's not good. In fact, that's not good at all. 
I do have a bunch of healing though, so... Let's heal up, you know. We will be fine. I am also running out of energy. Bubble attack, what the heck? 25 power, 15 stamina. It can freeze the enemy, but we already have freeze over here. Which is 30%, unlike the bubble attack, which is only 10%. So I will skip this one. Samer's J learned combo, which is a powerful attack. Let's learn it. There we go. Samer's J is evolving. Oh my god. The moment has come. Rustam. And you know what that means, it's time to check the database. And if it's the final, it is the final. We will need to replace with a new member in our team. So let's do it. I know we just got here, but... Uh, it will be like that sometimes. a lot of level ups, oh my. That music is so weird, oh my god. I know I keep saying it, but... It just sounds unlike anything else in the game, you know? It's like completely different uh, soundtrack suddenly. Oh yeah, we cannot heal in here. You know what? That's fine. If I recall correctly, there was a quick teleport over here. That we can use to heal up. Visit Parum because if I'm not mistaken, we might actually be able to get a new upgrade, anyways. So let's do it. It helps us in the long run, you know. Because it makes the evolutions go faster, so we might as well cash in whenever we can. Takes less than five minutes to get here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and heal in the center and swap out the Samer's J for some other cutie. will go over here. I 
I wish we could uh, like lock the followers box so that there is no way for new capture next someone to get in there uninvited because then you need to manually move them away which is slightly annoying but it do be like that sometimes in these games you know and I don't mind it too much it just takes a little bit of extra time which is fine to be fair. completely completely fine I hope you didn't hear that, someone just shot outside something. They kind of spooked me. Ah, let's see. The umbrella evolves at level 34. I suppose we could we can do that. If I'm not mistaken, Shrombrella is actually one of the very first next summer we captured. We've been using it for quite a while before we swapped to some other beauties. I have no idea where it is. Am I blind? Let me see the icon again because I am. Yeah, it's our... Oh, we don't have this one yet. That's why. We need to level up Shrompora. Well, that explains it. Now, who wanna be. Who, who will be named? will be named from after, after from Paul. Let me check the recent follows once again. I don't think this follower has next summon yet. Let's do that from nine days ago. Should be nice, should be nice. And let's don't forget to equip the freaking core. The most important part of leveling up. Here comes the new one we crafted, there we go. We still need... 3 more level 3 cores to have full set. Could actually happen rather soon. Just couple more caves and we will be able to do it, I would say. Hello, Swinters Pro. I hope you are doing well. Nice to see you come by. Seems like I've been glitched. You know, it happens. Sometimes you get glitched. It will be like that sometimes. But yeah, we were doing lots of progress today. Lots of evolutions and lots of new cuties have been captured. So that is always nice. Let me 
let's proceed with the main quest, I suppose. Did I heal? I didn't heal, I forgot to heal. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is truly a skill issue of the century. The biggest skill issue I ever had. I forgot to heal. There we go. Back to Kadia. Back to the main quest we go. Also, I just noticed there is a door over here, but it appears to be locked. Just like that one, never mind then, let's proceed. Well, that's spooky. We don't have that one yet. Therefore, we will try to capture it. be a nice addition into our collection. 37% chance seems nice. Might take a couple of tries apparently. That's fine. Oh my god. This one seems to be a bit rough, even though the percentage is quite nice. There we go. We will need to buy more Nexotrops. The only physical part of this Nexomon is the iron maze on its tail, which it uses to lay on sleeping people or Nexomon to induce nightmares. Well, that's not creepy at all. have coral. Good for the experience though. Ocean it will learn freeze. It's nice. Now, to be honest, I don't know which way to go from here, but let's start going this way first. Maybe it will loop around, you know. A huge place. Many ways to go, oh my god. It's a really huge place, actually. Well, electric type is effective against me at the moment. We dealt with it swiftly though. Honestly, I don't know which way to go. Let's just continue going downwards for now. At least it will be easier to remember sort of. Welcome back, Monix. Not effective, not effective. I should have just gone with the punches, I suppose. This area is mostly comprised of water next someone. I should have probably equipped someone electric to have the advantage. It's a bit too late now though to change that so 
we will just need to deal with it, I suppose. It's Albert Einstein. Oh my god, we need to capture him. I think Albert Einstein. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, Viridian. Oh my god. Hamter. It's the clip I clipped. Oh my god. That's the second time you raided and the clip showed that I clipped. That's nice. That's always nice. But yeah, I hope you are doing well, Viridian. Thank you so much for the for the raid, I really appreciate it. I hope your stream went well. Very nice to see you come by. Also, hello, Burgle Official, and hello, Moses Cloud, and of course, Soggy Bredo as well. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are all doing well today. Got all the Fortnite wins for sure. You and Viridian got all the Fortnite wins for sure. That's nice to hear, that's for sure. Oh my god. Well, that was an interesting scan. But yeah, it's so nice to see you come by, everyone. Oh my god, so many wolves on screen. I haven't seen so many wolves in a long time. That's a, that's a huge amount of wolves. Oh my god. So many wolves. Thank you for the bones. What was I doing? I was ca capturing Albert Einstein. Oh my god, let's do it. 41% chance. We didn't do it. Oh my god. Albert Einstein is too smart for us. I am almost dead. Wish me luck. There we go. You love all my redeems, so silly. I am glad that you enjoy them. They took a lot of time to set up. So, thank you, thank you. There are wolves in Fortnite. You and Viridian were calling them wolves. I see, I see. That's always nice. I also did hear Cookie say that you got all the Fortnite wins for sure, which is also very nice. That's, that's that's always nice, you know. And this next summon is an electrical power emitter and is not just incredibly smart, but can also manipulate electricity at will with any part of its body. Oh my. That's quite something. Let's send him to the story. It's like they took inspiration from your streams. You know, that would be insane. But uh, it do be it do be nice. Oh my god, a treasure chest. I should have healed probably. Rookie mistake. Thankfully we survived. Oceanity learned Torrent. Interesting. Oceanity evolves. Oh my god, another evolution. We had so many evolutions today. 
You love to see it. That's a cute evolution. XP booster is lovely. Let me quickly heal up. I see you are lurking. That's understandable. Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. I hope it goes well for you. Whatever it is that you need to do. I am kind of curious, if I check the current number of, uh, of Nexomon, 193, we are still not halfway through, even though we captured so many cuties today, quite interesting, also nice to see you backflip. I think that was dead end. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, it seems like a dead end. Managed to froze this one. Nice. I didn't kick, what the heck? That just seems like a straight up upgrade of the bite. So let's upgrade it. Green spirit is useless. But it will be like Yeah, this is a dead end actually. Oh wait wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can do something here. Yep, super broken. Thank you for tickling my cookie. This should help Cadium stay afloat, oh yes. For a couple days longer. I didn't realize this was what we were doing, actually. Nice to see the booping happen, that's for sure. You love the sounds every time. That's nice. The sounds will be lovely. Palm Flurry. That's a really powerful attack. I will replace Rock Barrage with it. Yeah. Can we do something about this? We cannot. I guess our job at the moment is to find the broken machines and repair them. Which sounds easy in theory. But probably isn't so easy. Let's see though, let's see. Let's go this way now. I don't think there were any machines along the way. Or at least I hope I didn't miss anything. That would be unfortunate if I did. Yeah, 
let's proceed this way. This is the one part where we haven't checked yet. Nothing new over here so far. But to be fair, we captured so many new cuties. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a while before we see another one new. Here comes another evolution of today. The umbrella. The sentient mushroom. Quite spooky when you think about it. Revive. You love to see it. Stream on. It's a freaking stream on. Oh my god. We don't have this one yet. It's a stream on. Let's try to capture it. 39% because it's frozen. It worked out, you'll have to see it. Let's send it to the storage. It uses its inseparable stick to slap at opponents. Thanks to its pellet shaped tail, it can swim in any body of water at ridiculous speeds. Fascinating creature. Okay, here we are. This place is like a maze. Is this another machine? I cannot get there from here. I guess we should use the ladder. Like a normal human. Well, Jellyflux is also new, I haven't seen this one before. Thirty-six percent could work out for us. It didn't, but we can try again. They've got 29 Nexo Traps to spare. Oh my god. It doesn't wanna get caught. That's perfectly understandable actually. Here we go. This Nexomon can grow up to 7 feet. It's best not to underestimate it during battle. Fascinating creature. Let's fix this machine. Dang, this engine needs, needs a fix ASAP. Good as new, not really though. This thing will explode one of these days. You really want to leave Cadium as soon as you can. You we already have, unfortunately. Also, Vonix is out of energy, which is not good. Let's fix that real quick. We have 20 of these. So let's use two of on him. I don't think we can fix the ones at the bottom over there, so let's proceed this way. How did I know? Well, it's written in the game, you know.
truly, truly magical. Five more level ups, you love to see. That was quadruple level up. And we got another freaking evolution coming in clutch. It's the freaking dreadful. And the smart thing to do now would be to go to town and switch. What I will do instead though is just uh, put the level 3s on the, on the next summon. Like so. And you can keep the level 1s. And if another evolution happens anytime soon, we will go back and switch out two at once, because that's faster than doing it one at a time, you know. Okay, let's proceed to the right. Minet is something we don't have yet, so let's capture it. If we can. Sadly, we didn't freeze it. Thirty four percent seems reasonable. So let's do it. And yeah, thank you so much for the raids today. Oh my god, two raids in one day, that's crazy. Its psychic abilities allow it to rewind memories, making some people believe they've gone back in time. It's a really cool ability, I would say. Who am I currently lurking at? Okay, seems fine. They are still streaming. Okay. What is over here? A machine to be fixed. Poor engine can't keep up with Cadium's demand. Good job. This is rather easy, isn't it? You could work as a mechanic here, Gabby Biscuit. Honestly... Seems dangerous. This place seems dangerous. There is also a gin over there, but I cannot get to it from here, so that's confusing. This appears to be locked. We are back at the beginning, which means there is only one way to go, and that is the wall, that is the path upwards. One hit KO, you love to see it. Double level up. Full heal. Nice. Oh my god, it's Noki. already have fully evolved Noki at home so oh yeah this one is broken let's see now all right this generator is all good for now I mean his research just keeps overloading the edges so it's not gonna last long 
Oh well, one problem at a time, I suppose. That scientist is really ch chilled back, you know. Why does he look so red in the in the game environment? Like he looks like fifty percent more red in the game in comparison to the artwork. Weird. Heavy sunburns, maybe. Thank you, friends. You sure did gain him a service. Here is a little something, I guess. We got food. I'm glad that you insisted so much on helping me, Kerda Creepito. We were hoping that this president guy would owe us a favor for fixing his city's engines. Maybe now he'll be willing to open Amelie's lab for us. Hahaha. Ha, ha. Oh my, you kids. Ah, uh, I'm sorry guys, he doesn't care about the crappy engines. Heck, I'd be shocked if he even knew that Cadium is underwater. What? What kind of guy is he? He's the king of the idiots, and if you want his favor, there is only one thing he actually cares about. The Mega Arena of Doom. The Mega War. He named it himself, alright. It's sort of a tournament for his amusement. The, win the winner gets anything they desire, such as access to Amelie's slab. We cannot even talk to the people around here, it's just gibberish. How about I interrupt for you guys? Interpret. With me, you'll be able to speak with the other idiots easy. You sound really pro. The arena is to the south of town, I'll help you talk your way there. For real, Derek will help you speak with the residents of Cadium. You can now use the city services, such as the shop. Oh my god, finally. Let me drink some coffee as a celebration. Nice, that's nice. If you wait up the Mega Arena of Doom, you get any wish granted. Really, we can ask for literally anything. Well, obviously it cannot be a stupid wish, such as free healthcare or affordable education that be outrageous. You have to love social commentary in games, so oh my god. Since we are back in town, oh, she was saying something. Oh, hello there. Do your next summon need to rest? There you go. I'll heal that. Remember, I will rest the next summon tastes so much better. Wait, what? That's a bit creepy. Since we are back in town, let's drop off. Someone we captured. And let's sort the inventory again. Because some of these don't belong in the followers. The game just puts them there. Because it wants to give me extra work, I suppose. Oh well, oh well, it happens. There we go, there we go. Now the question is... Excuse me. 
Now the question is, who should we evolve next? So let's scroll all the way down. It seems like we are missing the turtle. And its evolution. We could evolve Mosca, which evolves into Saka at level 29. Let's do it. So, Mosca, 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 Mosca. Where is Mosca? There is Mosca. Okay. And as per usual, we will name Mosca after a follower that I randomly pick from the follower list. I don't think we have what Gern say yet. So let's do it. What again, sir? Follow over from 18 days ago. Let's do it. Let's speak with the locals. I completely forgot what was I doing. The city runs out of power every now and then. They say it's because Emily is doing some nasty research in her lab. Long live the president of Cadio. So heads up, so smart. He is number one. Robbie Rotten is number one. Only the strong survive in Cadio. Only the strong can serve the president. Long live Cadio. Long live Cadio. Same story, they say that the oxygen is running out, the president will soon increase the tax for breeding. Oh boy, not again. Ah, leave me alone, I got a rest for my next fight in the arena. Hello kids, today's soup is... Something with something. Huh, why didn't you translate that direct? I don't think you want to hear the translation. But it really is a great soup, it's to die for, haha. Uh -huh. Don't drink the soup, kids. I have the finest wares locally sourced from the nearest dumpster. Now with 43% more asbestos, go check them out. I mean... Prices seem to be rather fair. Yeah, I'm quite uh, surprised actually. Let's buy 8 potions. Let's buy 13 super ones. And that's pretty much all we can do. So let's uh, continue moving onward. There are hostile Nexomon to the east, they are attacking anyone. They are mostly electric type Nexomon. What? Why are there wild Nexomon inside a submarine? Coco, my friend, you are a talking kid. Just play the game. Rue, if you are strong, you should totally check out the Mega Arena of Doom. I heard that some white winners ask to be sent to the surface world. What the heck? You gotta train hard, the president doesn't like weaklings. Really, from the surface world? Can I ask you guys to stop peeing into the ocean? Okay, genius. Where else are we gonna pee then? How did this guy become a tamer? 
What the heck is the lore over there? The president is the most compassionate man you'll ever meet. Every single day he will personally completely obliterate one of us for his own amusement. Amir amazing. It's truly amazing. We already spoke with the ghost. This is where the president lives. You must never interrupt his luxurious lifestyle. You are going to fight at the arena? Well, tough luck. I've been training for a whole day just for this. Let's see what this lady says. That's actually what I am confused about. Hey, you! What's a kid doing here? Calm down, Gabriel Biscuit is participating in the arena. That brat is a fighter? Come on now. Well, suit yourself, the more the merrier. Hey, Gabriel Biscuit, you will fight a series of strong opponents in there. And you cannot use items. The president is merciless when it comes to his arena. Is Skadium so bad because of this guy? Yeah, pretty much. He might be wacky, but we can't deny that he's powerful. Since Skadium is so hard to access, the guild gave up on red taking the city. Only higher ups like Amelie still come down here for stuff. Sounds like I should equip Lazy Cthulhu just in case. Maybe. The president will grant me any wish if I win. This is my last chance to wish for infinite wishes. Whoa, you know what? He's so dumb that this might just work. Have you come for an autograph? How about a fist on your face, huh? Get lost. That's rude. Very rude actually. Did we speak with the soup maker over here? Eat up, eat up. You need to be at your prime if you want to stand a chance in the arena. We received two luck reads. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. Move it, kid. I got a focus for the tourney. Once I win at the Mega Arena of Doom, I'll ask for a trip to the surface. And that's pretty much everyone from the town spoken with. So let's go quickly switch the, the weakest of our next summon at the moment. Or the strongest one. Just in case that the arena is too much to handle, you know. Our weakest one... Well, we already have a water type, so let's switch up Oce Oceanity with Lazy Cthulhu. And after the fight is finished, we will... We will... Uh, Switch the stuff back to the usual. Let's switch it as the main as well, actually, and let's uh, equip the experience boosters. Just for now, this will do. There we go, we are ready for the boss battle in the arena of doom. Would be quite fun. So let's go for it. Did I heal? 
yeah, should be fine. Okay, let's proceed. You are gonna step into the arena? Hehehe, <laughs> sure buddy. I'll be looking forward to that. Let's do it. Now that's a good music. That's a proper music. That's what I like to hear. Oh my god. Alright, I think I get it. Oh my god. Everybody died. The Mega Arena of Doom. Ladies and gentlemen of Kadir, he has arrived. The most handsome, the most intelligent, the king, the master, the lord of our city. Resident Zeta. Holy moly. Holy smokes. Oh my god. It's the freaking Flash cosplayer from the first game. He's still alive. What the heck? What is that guy doing here? Cadium, my Cadium, the greatest city in the world. It's time to celebrate my greatness with a tournament. Only the strongest will prevail. Well, I am the strongest. Only the second strongest will prevail. You know the rules, my dear pathetic slaves. Three consecutive weight fights. No items. Items are for keepers. Fight with all your might. And you will get anything that your heart desires. Restrictions apply. Let the games begin. Ah. Hey, Gabe Biscuit. That guy is a ties one of the Dina's siblings. It seems like nobody realizes that. He's actually just a ghost. Oh, then maybe he will help us without having to fight in the arena. Nah, it's never that easy with this here guy. Three battles, no items. If we win, we can ask for the key to Amelie's lap. I will participate too, only one of us has to win, right? I'm not letting Gabe Biscuit take the spotlight, I'll show you how it's done. When you are ready to fight, speak with that agent over there. I'll be watching you, buddy. Well, dang. Okay. Yay! Let's see who's gonna end up in tonight's mystery soup. Ha! Huh? Hold on a second. It's alright, it's just a loser's butt weapon. We live in hard times where our population has been declining really fast, but at least we have this dangerous arena to fear us up. How barbaric, how violent, how horrific. I love it. Well, good for you, buddy, good for you. No items. Perhaps items aren't allowed, but you can still equip force to your next summon. President Zeta himself designed this arena, isn't he amazing? Where, get, where did he get all these skulls from? It's actually a quite good question. I like the design though. Hehe, <laughs> since I am a ghost, I can watch the action from up close without fear. Could I love some pure violence to start my day, haha. <laughs> it's 
Stay back, stay back. They not really talk with the one start sit and one start fight with the big next summon over there. Unfortunate, there are no items over here. I guess all that remains to be done is the actual fight, maybe. Three battles, no items. I will hear your next summon with the beginning. Well, ready to brawl that. Let's do it. The moment has come. Your first opponent is... Ross. You think that you are all cool and mighty just because you are a gold tamer now, huh? Gaming biscuit. I'm here for a rematch. I haven't forgotten about the Drake Isles fight. <laughs> oh damn. He only has three next summons. What a loser. Oh my god. This will be absolute easy club. Oh my god. This will be easy peasy lemon squeezy, oh my god. And I was worried that I would have troubles. He didn't, he barely scratched one of my six next summons, oh my god. Why is what guns dead? You know what, I probably forgot to give it um, XP share thingies. Rookie mistake, Sonic Scream. That seems useful. Uh, let's learn it, I suppose. No! No! I feel like he forgot why we are here in the first place. Your second opponent is... Ah, a surface dweller, aren't you? You think that you are better than us with your fancy oxygen? Excuse me? No idea what he said there, but it was probably something not toss friendly. Holy moly, that's a... That's a design. I am kind of sad that I forgot to equip the course because we are wasting experience. Oh well, it happened. This fella only has two next summons. Absolute easy club fight. There we go, victory achieved. Meteor strike, holy moly. It's definitely better than healing stone.
And up next is the third fight. Your third opponent is my man. A surface dweller dares to challenge me. The champion of Cadil. Oh, feeble mortal, pursuing a distant dream of grandeur, aren't you? Cruel is the mistress of fate, pitting you against me. That dude is wearing a trash cap. He do be doing that. Quite weird. But I guess it do be like that in the underwater cities. This is going quite well, I would say. Although we are about to die. The victory is ours. It was kind of clutch, but we did it, you know. And let me guess, now we will fight against Zeta himself. Or something along those lines. So you have finally come, Game the Biscuit. Everything is going according to your plan, Dina. Well, well, well. If it ain't Gabe Biscuits, rejoice, kid, for you are meeting the coolest member of the game. Another one of those ghosts, huh? What's your element? In ancient times I was known as the Invincible Luxa. Champion of Thunder. Serpent of the Storm. The sixth child of King Omnicron. Now I am the president of this dumpster. How did you end up here in the first place? This used to be such a cool place, you know. But for some mysterious reason the people became dumb after I took over. Anyway, I know why you are here, Gabriel Biscuit. I've been waiting for you to hand over the remainder of my power. Why did you fight in my arena, though? You could have just asked me for it. Now you can smite things with a billion watts. Cool, eh? This will come handy when you face Wados. So it's true, Wados is hiding somewhere in the city. If you hadn't come, my plan was to sink Cadium. Bang. Are you guys that afraid of Wados? Okay, that was a weird cut. Weird transition. Even with four elements, the tyrant egg is not hatching. The true king of monsters definitely lies inside this egg. Guys, we cannot beat Wados with an egg. We only need to get Amelie before she releases Wados. And that coward is hiding somewhere in the city. Well said, lass. Her lap is to the northwest. Take this. Sir Zeta, if Gabit Biscuit and I fail on this mission, I will sink Cadium. I will obliterate this cursed city. Boom. No matter what happens, Wados must never be allowed to exist, Zap. Aren't we judging Wados too soon? 
You have no idea what's gonna happen if he gets to the surface. Adium is but a small sacrifice in the face of extinction. Tutorial You have received Zeta's power of thunder. You can now power up various devices found across the world. Oh my god. What is that used for though? I don't remember seeing any devices anywhere. That seems like a significant power that I have no idea how to use. nice pictures on the walls. The doors cannot be interacted with. I can no longer speak with the... with the Flash cosplayer. We have the key. We know the location. After this, the guild will surely brand us as traitors. We'll be persecuted. Ah, how did it I end oh, oh my god. How did it end up like this? I haven't gotten the faintest idea what are you guys up to. But I will stick with you. If I can get enough screen time I might get a cameo in the next game. Amelie's place is to the north of my garden, got it. Oh my god, I cannot believe they just confirmed the third game within the second game. That's pretty... That's pretty exciting, I would say. Let's heal up. Let's see... I guess I will just simply keep these two for now. Maybe. It does make stuff easier because that way all four equip the ones for evolution have the level 3 codes, you know. Yeah, let's do it like that. Team Monkey is level 40 and haven't leveled up yet. Which is a bit weird. 25, 24, 20. Let me actually check the database about the monkey. Because I think it's kind of curious that it is they didn't evolve yet, you know. Evolves at level 50. Well, that explains it, I suppose. I guess this would be a nice stopping point for the... for the episode. So yeah, let me save the game.